Hi. In this session, I'm going to explain about how somebody could register for a higher secondary examination in Tamil Nadu. Um, this session is sponsored by wikiprocedure.com, and all the information that I'm going to provide in this session can also be obtained from this following link that is displayed here. Um, I'm going to display this link in the description of this video so you could access it straight from there um, rather than retyping them. Um, also, any links that I'm going to provide in the coming slides can be accessed from this following link. Um, so you do not have to retype them again. I'm going to take you to this page and show you how the information is displayed. So uh, this is the page and you could see the information is kind of displayed in headings which is um, easy to understand and um, as well as the links are uh, embedded here so you do not have to retype them again you could access it straight from this page um, as well as for the um, office locations as well so I'm going to take you to the slides following are the list of items that we're going to cover in this session eligibility um, uh, private candidates are divided into two one is um, regular private candidates candidates uh, who are referred as H and uh, direct private candidates who are referred as HB so if you have already uh, appeared for the exam um, or if you have registered for the exam and uh, you are absent for some reason for the exam then um, you are uh, you are referred as uh, regular sorry regular private candidates which are who are H and um, you know uh, the other people who are actually planning to uh, sit for the uh, higher secondary examination for the first time um, or uh, referred as uh, direct private candidates as uh, HP uh, which is uh, displayed here so uh, for the uh, direct private candidates um, you know the eligibility is that you have to uh, you have to have cleared your uh, SSLC exam um, or an equivalent to the SSLC exam from an, from another state should be good too. Um, you know you should uh, you should have uh, at least two gap years from the date um, that you have cleared your SSLC exam, um, and your age should be uh, 16 and half years of age um, on the 1st of April or uh, 1st of September uh, on the year in which the exam is going to be held. So if you're going to be if you're going to be writing your exam on 2016 um, then your age um, sh you know you should have completed 16 and a half years of age um, on 1st of April 2016 or 1st of uh, September 2016 um, and you know uh, related to practicals you could find information in this following link here um, as well as um, any candidates um, you know who are coming from a um, a different state uh, who has uh, cleared an equivalent exam that is related to SSLG should provide a migration certificate from their um, examination board um, from where they are from um, so uh, that is something a requirement too um, as well as as I mentioned about the age um, uh, your um, age should be 16 and a half years uh, you should be 16 and a half years of age um, on 1st of April or um, 1st of September on the year that you're planning to write. Also another added information is uh, they would be also checking for your um, um, you know the subjects that has been covered in the in a different um, state you know if you if you're coming from a different state or a different board they would look for all the subjects that is covered in your uh, curriculum or in your syllabus uh, to make sure that it is similar to the um, SSLC exam that's in uh, Tamil Nadu. Required documents um, you have to provide SSLC pass certificate or equivalent uh, examination pass certificate um, and if you're from another state you have to provide a migration certificate. Uh, register uh, you could contact the uh, government examination service centers they should be able to help you out with registering for the exams um, you know you could find more information you know the uh, you could find the examination centers on the an extra two of um, this link sorry uh, this link that is provided here um, and make sure you take all the documents that uh, that is provided to you I know that is required 
by the officials um, and I would what I would recommend is you speak to the officials before uh, before you reach the um, uh, the government examination service centers uh, to make sure that you are eligible and as well as you have all the required documents before you reach there because you know um, it, it saves you a lot of time if you have everything with you at one go as well as after you register uh, normally the procedure is you take your documents uh, you give it to the authorities and they would update the information to the system and um, they provide you appropriate receipts um, after you paying the fees for the examination so that's the actual procedure and um, you know uh, after you finish the registration um, the information should be provided in the news channels or the newspapers um, when you can collect your hall tickets which can be downloaded from the website that, that is displayed here fees um, I've listed um, separately for the private uh, regular private candidates and direct private candidates that is that is provided here um, processing time I would recommend you to consult with the authorities of the government examination service centers uh, they should be help you they should be able to help you out and um, as I said the office locations can be uh, found out from this link I'm going to take you to this um, link and show you um, how the information is uh, displayed so you could see here the information is kind of uh, listed out you know the office address um, sorry the locations but you could also find the locations um, the office locations in the um, website uh, just give me a minute in this website which is uh, dge.tn.gov.in if you go to this website and if you go to the contacts or the office locations or the or uh, the links which display the government examination service center you should be able to find out the contact location and um, you know you could uh, you would be able to contact them um, other information I would recommend you to take a pen with you and um, uh, you know if you want to fill up an application form it always helps um, as well as um, you know I would recommend you to call them before you reach there um, that would help uh, and you know it save it, it, you know it would save you time um, i hope i have provided enough information thanks for listening